All right, I just rescheduled for this week. And of course, last Monday, they didn't forget to come join me. Um, the, the reason how they goes with that, may I'm after the flyers. Now, right now, I'm just letting with Andy will be able to join me for schedule on the 42nd years. So Andy will try to make it if he can, but please confirm he will attend it before I advertise, advertise him for my channel. I'm trying to make sure to see him at eight in the evening for tonight. So if he can make it, but I'm gonna see him great. All right, I'm gonna get started while waiting for Andy, just get me on the way. Now, first of all, I, came up with the flyers, I, I put all many description below. I'm hosting for my next episode of Worldwide Campus Chat on Zoom Video Communication that I'm going to chat with one of my special guests. So it's and so Andy's gonna be really happy to see me that he came back here. And while while he's there, while he while he gets on to that part, He'll be ready to share for his memory the what we did for all the Sprout trip. Also for this the Sprout Film Festival, I just came right, right here to see how interested it could be on. And just want to make it really clearly and hopefully let me get this mic straight. So we're up to about three more minutes and just gonna make it on. Just wanna tell you, if you have any question, you can see there's a chat down here on the live streaming. And has, and when he gets on, just he wants to get, might be shared. And I'm, I'm just gonna get to muting over while well, you're going to take turn. So when Andy's going to be here, I'm just make sure to pause this video. Like I said, I just mentioned for this. If I'm doing for today or actually for tonight, that I'm going to be chatting with one of my guests is the Sprout First Director, Andy Lee, to share some of the memories for the 42nd anniversary. And as you go on here and we have to about two more minutes until 8 p.m. And we almost forgot to tell you. Now remember Friends Miller that I saw about, he posted on the any of the friends in of this group. And what that has here for good news, Sprout is celebrating its 42nd anniversary on, this is from last Tuesday. This is a really nice photo where all of the Sprout participants and instead of April 6th, like just what I just said, Francis just says about April 11th, who might be confused. Well, anyway, now most of the time, and it says, how is everyone for your family? Tell them that, that we say hello from, from me and it was nice nice with the great people. And it's gonna be really proud of this was all, I'm gonna tell you why. So this is a really important announcement to get in for without your help. So Sprout cannot run trip programs without funding. This month Sprout is celebrating its 42nd anniversary on the April 11th. This might be from Sunday. So Sprout is resumed their NYC trip starting in January, 2022. So Sprout will return their extending and weekend vacation starting in 2023. And it's probably is eight in the evening. And right now, I'm probably sure Andy's gonna be on. We'll see how that goes with, hopefully. So Andy, whenever you're ready, let's get to, let's get to the chat. We'll be ready to share something, all the memories that we're going to do on what you did for on the trip that we came for on the staff and the, and the individuals as well. 
And you can see Andy is going to be just on that we're going to be live streaming. And let me see how, where the Andy at. And there he is. I'm going to meet him. Okay. Oh, hey, Andy. Hey, Kyle. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Hey, Kyle. How are you? Uh, great to have you here. How about you? It's good to have you too. Let me just turn your volume up just a little bit. All right. So I'm doing well. How about you, sir? Um, I'm really, really excited about having for a celebration of the Sprout 42nd anniversary. Absolutely. 42 years. Started in 1979, I believe. Since in 1979. And yep. And it's going to be very exciting about all those shares and memories about what they did for their Sprout trips, all of them pick any, all the events. Absolutely. People have gone all around the world with Sprout, all over the country, in planes and vans and cruise ships, all kinds of stuff. And then um, Sprout's had their great New York City program for years with tons of events locally. Um, all kinds of stuff. I know I've been to tons of Yankees games and nice dinners, things like that. And Sprout also has their film program, which is fantastic. Um, there's Sprout Flicks and Sprout Film Festival and the Sprout Touring Film Festival, which goes all across the country. So tons of stuff, tons of people have had incredible enjoyment from Sprout over the years. Touched so many people's lives and done so many good things. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure to pin with Andy Lee. He'll be ready to share something, all the memories of Sprout. So Andy, right, right to you. I'm sorry, say that again, Kyle? Uh, okay, let me repeat that again. So Andy would like to share something, all the memories, what he did on the Sprout trips, all these events. So Andy, let's... Oh, okay, sure. Um, some of my favorite Sprout trips are the um, weekend vacation programs. So you go to places like Philadelphia, places like Boston, Mystic, Connecticut. Those are always a lot of fun. Uh, I've done a bunch of those. And I also enjoy the New York City program. And I would say my favorite memories are going to events with people like yourself, people like France Miller, going to places like the Brooklyn Museum or Yankee Stadium. Um, I got to see the Globetrotters, the Harlem Globetrotters with Sprout once. That was a lot of fun. And I would say my third favorite memory with Sprout was being able to volunteer and participate in the Sprout Film Festival in New York City. So how do you interest it? So what is your favorite Sprout events or what, what are your top three, if you could, if you could share them? Oh, well... This is what I just shared about something for it. And so when I, what I knew is one of my, like I went to the Catherine and Ben's house, just really wanted invitations with all of the, any other parts of the groups and staffs and individuals. And it's really, really excited. Have something you know, special, special, um, great summers, have some great at the backyard. Um, also, every month they went on the Beaumont Lanes in Times Square. It was every month, just like France Miller just went there before. Went there before. Hmm, yeah, the echo sound. Well, um, it put a, pers a personalizing, um, is a great for the restaurants having a whole bunch of special meals. Um, also, they went to the Italian restaurant for the every New Year's Eve dinner. Um, it was about for the Tony de la Police. And it part, well, hopefully it was the a most part, particle of my life. One of my favorite Sprout staff is that I like with Ingrid, Cody, uh, Rhea, Anas, also have with Chris Lloyd, um, also with William, Kelsey, um, also Anisha, um, it, um, either, either, either Ganache. Oh, yes, you need some. <clears throat> You need some great Sprout leaders, and um, 
I think what makes Sprout so good is their leaders, right? Um, so there's, you mentioned so many good ones. You know, I'm a fan of Anisha myself. So Andy loves, Andy really interested that he's a fan of the Ganesh. Oh, Ganesh too, absolutely. So is Ganesh still part of the New York City program? Um, sort of. You know, G Ganesh is a very good dancer. Hmm. Well, he likes, he, likes to, he likes to hear about the Beatles. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. So Ganesh loves to hear about the Beatles. Are you a fan of the Beatles? Um, ho hopefully it does. Say it again? Hopefully it does. Looks like a fan of the Beatles. Got it, got it, got it. You know who my favorite person, uh, my favorite Sprout participant to talk music with is Mr. Franz Miller. Oh, Mr. Franz Miller. Yeah, he knows his jazz. Hmm. He's really interested about in jazz. Absolutely, and a gentleman. Hmm. All the men's before a great jazz. Honestly. Absolutely. Um, have you, um, what kind of, as, as things start to kind of hopefully slowly get back to normal and stuff, what kind of sprout activities would you like to see in the future? Well, what I'd like to see in my future, um, so let's just say, for example, um, when I, when I'm going to the, uh, when I go to the, any of my sprout trips, which is including like Rockefeller Center to see, mm -hmm. To see, um, you know, a special, a special days, and I ever wonder, um, like, like we can listen to on the NBC News on the Today Show in from Studio One A. Also, also they go went to on the ABC News Good Morning America in Times Square. Um, also, one we wish for CBS Broadcast Center, CBS This Morning. Um, so one of my one of my one of the most um, you know, just pop population populations is um, one of the great, 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 all the, um, you know, like, also I went on Times Square to see all the Madame Toussaint to see all those celebrities, um, um, which, and also I just wanted, um, I just wanted, um, wondering that I'm, um, recently it is, a really, a, a great, a great, perfectly one, but, um, you know, um, like, when we went to on, like, we went on a ferry to see the Statue of Liberty and the Alice Island, it was mm -hmm. like about every summer. Um, also, they went to on to the museum to see all about the historical, either way for the there's so many of the historicals. Also, they went on the for most artists for the Museum of Modern Arts, right behind here in the Rockefeller Center. It's called for the MoMA, it's spelled like M O M A. And there's so many of the Pablo Picasso. Um, yeah. But that's really fantastic of the self portrait on the Museum of Modern Art. Um, so, so when when after COVID-19, I wish uh, we could visit to the NBC News Rockefeller Center to came on to, to on today's show, also on the CBS Broadcast Center that we, that we go on here and either ABC News Good Morning America in Times Square. Yeah, that sounds like a, that sounds like a great idea. I, I think you guys can definitely do that. Um, have you, I, I mean, I, I know that Sprout still communicates with everybody and stuff like that, and I'm sure they're planning on running programming again. Have, have, they, um, have they given you any updates on when the New York City program is going to be restarted? Um, well, as, well, as usual, um, um, the, reason, the recent days, so Santiago just have just many, many ideas. Um, like, I'm, like, Santiago just gave me about the free vacation trip about the Cascade Mountain. Wonderful. So the free, so the vacation trips are starting back up. Um, after COVID nineteen. Wonderful, wonderful. That sounds fantastic. That's really good to know. Um, that that's really really good. Um, I hope it starts soon. Did they don't have any idea when they're planning or anything like that? Um, we'll see how that goes with. 
Yep, absolutely. Well, Santiago is a good guy. I'm sure he'll handle that well. Well, like I say, um, well, this is why my this is why my best part of the Sprout director, Andy Lee. <laughs> well, it's, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't the first Sprout program director. There, there were there were before me, and you know, Anthony started the company, so I guess I, I would imagine he was the first Sprout program director. Um, that was Anthony DeSalvo. Exactly right. He is the man. Hmm. Well, Andy DeSalvo, he was the it was the great lead of the director of Sprout. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Executive director. Executive director. That's the big boss, buddy. Hmm. Also, Cody was moved into New Jersey doing some a good part of the yoga. Oh, good. Yeah. How's Cody doing? Um, Cody is really, really, really great one. And one. hopefully you get to love Cody. A lot of really wonderful people in that office. You know, Laura Cohen is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Uh, Laura Cohen, um, also with her daughter, JC. Uh, yeah, wonderful young lady. Yeah, nothing but really, really nice people up there. Um, well, um, some, some really nice people, are they? Absolutely, and some of the best participants that I've ever seen in my life. And and the best leaders you can ask for. Hmm. So, who really interested about the Sprout leaders? Um, who who might be want to say something, anything of those hobbies? Even the man. I lost you for a minute, Kyle. Oh, well, looks like he got froze, or we got froze. Uh oh, Kyle, looks like we lost. Hmm. Well, it looks like the Wi-Fi has got really weird. Hmm. Well, hopefully he's he might be moved into or hmm. Let me, let me see how how he's going going right in through. But anyway, I just gotta get to the cloud review or hmm, he's gonna be recite. Hmm. Probably sure he muted. Um Andy came unmute. Hmm. I, I cannot hear what Andy just said. Oh, so I lost you for a second there for, for about a minute or so. Well, well, luckily the Wi-Fi is just almost getting slower. Got it. Um, well, um, as, as, I, as I mentioned for this one, um, um, like I'm, so I was, like I'm saying, I was always remembered that I just met, uh, that I went to for the Brooklyn College that I, I always remember that you met in the Brooklyn College. Um, also, you came here, moved into Sprout from, from the beginning, 2014, that I just came by first of since for December 2014. So you came in Sprout in 2014, right? Um, and when did we meet in Brooklyn College? Um, Brooklyn College. Um, this is from last summer, 2014. Okay, from 2014, I got you. Well, like I say, I came here on my first since December 2014 that I met with Andy to King with Sprout. There you go. And and so that's that's about, what, um, six years. Hmm, six years. Good for you, six year participant. You know, there are people that have been going, um, that have been participating in Sprout program for 20, 30, 40 years. 20, 30, either 40 years. Hmm. Absolutely. Hmm. Well, absolutely incredibly great. Um, mm -hmm. Well, so like I say, one of my favorite, one of my first Sprout director for leading Andy Lee. And one of my favorite Sprout participants, Mr. Kai Wu. Hmm. Well, so I really love Andy and Andy will really, really likes me. Absolutely, I, I, I love you too, Kyle. Hmm. Well, love, love you so much for that. Um, uh, it, it, it is great for, um, you know, a, a really special day for the Sprouts 42nd anniversary. 
um, you know, it just is a great, a great, 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 great things. And I just kept made more flies about, um, you know, what I, what I just chose for it that I suggest about the events. Um, um, it's, it is really interesting for that. And I just want to give you guys, um, you know, I just make sure to see the, all the activities. You know, I just came out here for posts about um, for what I'm, what I just made for it. Um, like I, like I made for, um, you know, uh, what are we going to do for it? It is really, 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 in, really in, interesting. And I'm just going to give you guys for share screen. So it was on LinkedIn that I posted this one. So later that day on Sunday, April 18th at 12.30 in the afternoon. So we're going to make an Oscar themed cheesecake ready for the Oscar party. It's only we're about doing this together? We do this together. <laughs> Kyle, you, you got to ask me before you put me on the flyer, man. Uh, really? Yes. Hmm. What if I have plans? Um, any, any plans? So I just always send you on. So it was on that just always sent you on Gmail for um, that we that I could usually uh, what we're going to make it for. Um, you know, this is about for the Oscar theme. So April 21st is going to be ready for you on the Oscars. Um, hopefully, I just already sent you for about last Sunday, April 4th at 1130, 11.38 in the evening. That they might be sure. Um, right. I just sent for three flies at a time or actually for one flies. I put a one by one flyer like this. I see it. It looks good. I mean, the, the design is good, but you, you should just ask your guests before you put them on the flyer. Um, are you sure about that? Shoot, I'm positive about that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if you want to join me they, on Sunday, April 18th, that we're going to make for the Oscar theme cheesecake, it's going to be starts beginning at 1230 in the, in the afternoon until we we'll be all finished about 630 in the evening. That would give you about like six hour Zoom video communication for live streaming. A six hour Zoom live stream. That is ambitious, Kyle. Good for you. Hats off to you. Hats off to me? Mm-hmm. Well, got to make sure to list off all these ingredients and tools that we're going to need for it. Here's what you got. I'm going to give you guys to really close up look. I'm just going to zoom into it. You're going to need this part, grand private crust. So graham crackers, which is the honey or original natural unsweetened cocoa, light brown sugar, melted butter. Also to make it with the, the simple pineapple syrup, we use with two of those, pineapple juice and granulated sugar. The cheesecake bag is gonna be on the Philadelphia original cream cheese, granulated sugar mixed with cornstarch, and eggs and heavy cream, peel lemon extract, some yellow food coloring. It depends how many drops of food color you want to make it very vibrant yellow. Now, for some decoration, we're going to use it for a cool whipped toppings with tint with more of the yellow food coloring, some yellow color sugar. Also going to need for the three of the Wilton special for the sprinkles. And black, black sugar sprinkles, ghost star sprinkles, even the black Jimmy's edible sprinkles, and of course, chocolate decoration, which is optional. And here's what it is. This is the Jimmy Wilton's black Jimmy sprinkles. Mm -hmm. And also we got the black sugar crystals. Of course, we got here for this, the gold star shaped sprinkles. This is going to be for the decorator of the Oscar theme. Got it, got it, got it. So how would you like to um, buy these? It was on the Michael's Craft Store. I don't even know if I can make the 18th for a six hour um, Zoom stream to make an Oscar themed cheesecake. Um, I have to get back to you on that, Kyle. I'm not sure if I can or not. Um, if, you, if you want to make it, or if you want to join me, if you can, it doesn't really matter. Say it again? If you, if you want to make, um, if you want to make it on the Oscar themed cheesecake day, how to teach them, or you can actually join me to watch me. It is completely up to you. Got it, got it, thanks, I appreciate that. Um, really appreciate that. So hopefully, um, so Andy can't wait to join me on the April 18th on at 12.30 in the afternoon. 
for Zoom live streaming. Hopefully. Well, there you go. Well, I wish you luck on that. And obviously, I wish you a lot of luck on the, uh, the YouTube channel. Oh, uh, YouTube channel. And I think that we should both wish uh, Sprout the best of luck on their wonderful 42nd anniversary. That is fantastic. Oh, right. Uh, let me just add pin to Andy. Um, so, and so Andy, I'm just want to um, give you guys for the gladly view. Um, hopefully, um, so Andy will would like to want to say something of very very um, um memory. So, Andy, what we, what what would you like to say about um all those um the sprout memories for the forty seven years? Oh, you know, um, uh, some of the, the happiest times of my life, I was working at Sprout and I had a chance to meet some wonderful people and do a lot of really wonderful, interesting things, travel to some new places, go to a lot of events, um, get, get, get to make some potentially lifelong friends. And I, I think that that's just my life. Sprout, Sprout's touched thousands of other people's lives in, in a similar way. And it can be such a such a good life-changing experience and, and sprout such a one-of-a-kind um, innovative organization. And it's it's the kind of place that people have tried to replicate the things that Sprout are doing. And it, it's it's really hard to do because um, Sprout is just that special and that unique. And I think that's what makes it so special. Um, well, so really special one, hopefully. Um, so what was so what do you so how do you like the best about the memories of the sprouts for trip say it again so so what are you interested about having for the sprout vacation trip what am i interested in in sprout vacation trips um, um i'm not sure i i totally understand that question how you're oh, afraid oh well, I'm, I mean, I'm interested in everything they do, and 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 I hope that they continue doing it. Um, I would, I would, you know, I I don't know what their. I haven't heard from them recently, so I'm not sure what their immediate plans are for vacation trips. But I certainly hope it comes back as soon as it's possible and as soon as it's safe. So, so my question is about after COVID nineteen. So, when are you going to be coming back to Sprout? Um, as soon as I can. You know, as soon as, as if they are open up and if they, because I'm, I'm not sure exactly, you know, what the business model post COVID is going to be. So I, I don't know if they're going back to the old office or they're going to have different plans, but I, I would certainly love to see them. I, I think as soon as the film festivals start, um, I, I'd certainly like to attend one. Do you have any plans to attend an upcoming Sprout Film Festival? Um, well, any plans? Um, well, I have to make sure. Hmm, let me see what it is. Oh, well, I have to make sure, um, we see when was the Sprout Film Festival going to be upcoming events um, until, until like, um, like every summer or so on. Um, we'll see they're going to make something very, very decision. Mm -hmm. um, well, so like I always remember them watching for the, in the auditorium about the Kelly's Hollywood. Yep. Good, good. That was one of your favorites? That was one of my favorite. Wonderful, wonderful. Good to hear. So it is really good to hear. Um, well, so it is about really for Sprout Quiz, how interested about the Sprout Film Festival all kind for a special every year of the event. Um, well, the most part that I like the best for the all staff of the Sprout, which is like a Cody, um, Ingrid, um, Rhea, um, Anna, Skinash, even Chris Lord, also William, even Kelsey, also one of, one, one of my friends. Um, Friends Miller, Abraham, um, also with James Miller, um, James Dugan, um, also we got Caesar, also we got with um, Michael Eisenstein. Mm -hmm. uh, I also got about this one, Catherine and Ben. Um, also, we got Elizabeth, um, 
well, it well either like um, see see why either why oh yeah, um, it either it is um, one of my last friend that's about here, um, but anyway. A lot of good people he just named. Wonderful, wonderful people. I, I, I really hope um, Abe is doing well, by the way. Hmm. Well, heard from me recently. Um, yeah, I've been, well, Abraham, it was, it was with Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, well, Aaron and Abraham just already came here to visit their, for this beautiful, um, at their visiting home for the quarantine. Got it. Yeah, of course. But well, Aaron's a very nice guy too. Very nice guy. Wonderful. Well, that's great to hear. Well, Kyle, listen, I'm I'm gonna have to let you go soon. Uh, um, looks like I have stuff to do. Oh um, yeah. When I stay, um, don't forget to we gotta take some pictures. You and me. Oh, taking some pictures. So let's let me just paint with Andy. We're gonna take a. A good picture. I'll just give you guys a bit. Let's make a whip. All right, there we go. Um, so let's get back to cloud review. And so, if you're interested for the Sprout Forty Second Anniversary, write me in the comments below. If you want to say something? Always have to make sure to view all of this before sharing. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to see all notifications about new videos and the latest video. And hope you guys we have a great time for the Sprout 42nd anniversary. It is the for my this episode of the Worldwide Canvas Chat. So Andy, what would like to what would you like to say? Well, I think everyone should go to ghostsprout.org to learn more about Sprout and they should follow them. Um, on all the social medias that you have. I know they're on Facebook and they're on Instagram. And um, you should, most importantly, if you're able to, um, you should send them a donation because they're doing really, really good work and um, things are difficult right now and they're doing their best. And they've been around for 42 years and let's see them be around for another 42. Of course, if you love, really interested, Andy, I'm gonna put Andy's on the link below on Instagram, either Lincoln. Um, sure. Yeah, just put this about donation pages. And um, that way, if anyone is able to get them and follow them, I, I think it would be a great thing to donate a little bit of uh, money to Sprout. So, so thank you so much, Andy. And I am really appreciated. I'll be able to see you on Sunday, April 18th at 1230 in the afternoon. Now, remember, I'm not sure if I can make that. Hmm. We'll see how they. We'll see how that goes with. We'll see how it goes, man. So, if you want to come on the 18th, it is completely up to you. At, at I got you. Part. I got you. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world making a cake. And um, everybody, please go support Sprout. They're the most wonderful people in the whole world. And Kyle, you know, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. All pleasure to that for that. <laughs> All right, but you have a wonderful night and all the best to you and your family. All right, so so remember, guys, I will see you next time and later that day. So thank you so much, Andy, and I really appreciate it. I will see you on the 18th, I guess so. Good night, sir. Okay, good night. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video.